All right, and welcome to the reverse FMEA through process audits. Now, you may be familiar with reverse FMEA. We've covered in other videos what the reverse FMEA does, what it seeks to do. In this video, we're gonna take a look at getting some economy in terms of not doing multiple things, but doing one thing and meeting the needs of the reverse FMEA. And that is through including the reverse FMEA as a methodology when you do process auditing. Now, I know what you're saying, right? There are customer specific requirements for some methodologies of process auditing, such as you'll use VDA 6.3, you'll use layered process audits. These are very valid. And if you spend a little bit of time strategizing, you'll see that everything in reverse FMEA you're already doing through a process audit of some form because are you required to do process audits as part of your IETF certification? Short answer is yes. The second thing, does the process audit require you to bring the FMEA in as part of your risk-based planning on process audits? Absolutely it does. Now keep in mind, reverse FMEA is a bottom-up validation of the assumptions you made in the FMEA, so that by checking your assumptions in the FMEA, you are actually exploring it through the lens of process. So there is no dichotomy there, there is no gap there. Now, this comes with you being smarter and needing to do two things. Your auditors and your customers will 100% look for reverse FMEA, and then they may look for separate process audits. It comes down to how you report them. If you can clearly prove that you have done a process audit, even if you're doing VDA 6.3, and as part of that audit, you went in with a reverse FMEA approach, you'll be able to make your case. And now remember that when you do this, one of the important things is the team that is performing the audit and also the management that it is reported to. The reverse FMEA is an opportunity to align the reality of what you're doing with the process that you laid out initially to create your risk profile. So make sure that not only your reporting structure clearly shows the reverse FMEA activity going on, but also the report up structure to the next level of management. So the action items coming out, which probably should be the action items in your process audit, need to clearly show the process items being driven from the reverse FMEA activity. So in this video, I wanted to show you that reverse FMEA is not terribly different than what you're doing in a process audit. And it actually is a form of process audit. And if you align and you strategize, you can do more than one thing when you go out and audit your process. All right, if you like this video and you want a little more, go ahead and click the training link below where we've got more training on the reverse FMEA. And we'll see you in the next one.